now the man who's been the hard-hitting sensation of these championships so far on the right Darren Dyer from the St Monica's Club in London facing police constable Cliff Piper of Penarth the Welsh champion and Dyer's punching has been a revelation at times in his previous contest in these championships he put his man away in just 28 seconds What can the PC do about this? Stop. Stop. Dyer, of course, the London champion in his first ABA semi-final. And Cliff Piper from Penarth, Welsh champion for the first time. rid of his man as fast as possible he's had five inside the distance wins in a row in these championships alert but his legs definitely went Piper trying to stay inside where it's relatively safe Quite a bit of reach advantage over Dyer, but I don't think he has his punching power. And he's hurt again, and he's taking him. He's almost gone over, but he's managed to stay upright for the second count. There's 20 seconds of this opening round remaining. Is he going to make it? He's standing up on guard. Now then, one more punch, and that will convince the referee soon enough. Believe me. First round running out. And there's the bell, and Piper survives the opening round. 19-year-old Darren Dyer of St. Monica's, proving himself to be one of the hard-punching discoveries in the amateur boxing world. A former British schoolboy champion from Camden in London. Well, Darren Dark, the black boxer from St. Monica's Club in London, had PC Piper, the Welsh champion, Clifford Piper, in all sorts of trouble in the first round, but uh, it came a bit late in the round, and since then he hasn't had quite so much success. So here we are on the final round of this welterweight semi-final. Piper still upright, at least until that very moment. Right hand. And over goes the policeman, and this might be the end. Is he going to beat the cup? No. Yes, he's beaten the cup, but is he going to be allowed to go on? No, he isn't. It's all over. And so Dyer, having struggled a bit to put his man away in the second round, suddenly comes out and dramatically finishes it in the third. And so that is his sixth successive inside the distance win in these championships following on to his 28 second win in the England finals at Gloucester on the way to this welterweight final tonight he meets a finalist from last year Shropshire's Mark Elliott every year in these championships there's always someone who brings the crowd to the edge of their seats and this year it's Darren Dyer in the red vest facing in white Mark Elliott from the GKN Sankey Club. Mr. Dyer has a way of dispatching opponents in double quick time. And there was the first menacing left hook. Would have taken Elliot's head off and landed. Look, look, 
Well, Elliot is experienced, back at Wembley for the second year running. Last year he was in the light welterweight final, one weight down from this, and was outpointed by Ibi Mustafa, who went out of these championships earlier this year. And this year in the final again, and has to face the remarkable Darren Dyer from St. Monica's Club in Hoxton in London. Good right from Elliot. The bite of bit. <laughs> Dyer wearing tassels on the uh, hem of his trunks. Start a new fashion with that. Muhammad Ali started the fashion of uh, tassels on the boots. I've never seen tassels on the trunks before. <laughs> Will Elliot be able to stand up to the dynamite that Dyer throws? Punches are beginning to find the mark in the first round. Elliot, the son of a boxer and brother of a professional. where he hits you, Dyer, and one round the back there, kidney punch. shakes his head in disappointment as he returns to the corner. Darren Dyer, only 19 years old. What a prospect. So the last three minutes between Dyer, the puncher, and Elliot, the man in white. And in the second round, Elliot began to give Dyer a taste of his own medicine. He caught him several times with good right hands. And still Dyer comes forward, hooking, looking for the chance to put this man down, and he hasn't done it yet. Mark Elliot, the son of Johnny Elliot, a former England amateur, a man who was in these finals himself back in 1962 at light middleweight. He was runner-up to a Liverpool boxer called Jim Lloyd. And Elliot's brother, Johnny Jr., is a current professional, a middleweight, boxing out of Telford. Well, Dyer won his last six contests inside the distance to get here. Looks as though he may have to go all the way this time. man who was in these finals last year has shown that you can handle a big puncher and Dyer although he's got the big uh, the big bombs doesn't have too much boxing craft and when the punches don't work he's not too clear what he should do and he certainly walked onto a lot of punches Dyer So there may not be all that much in this. Well, 
We're in the last minute. There hasn't been a moment when Dyer hasn't tried to come forward. right into it it took him two and a half minutes of the final round before he got his man and Elliot has been counted out on his feet Dyer has done it in the third round and he jumps up on the ropes and he receives the acclaim of the crowd somebody lifts him up in the ring all sorts of scenes as Dyer manages to get the big one home and the referee tries to get that gentleman out of the ring and finally does what excitement then. There was only about 30 seconds of that contest remaining when suddenly the bomb exploded. And here it is again. Oh, up it came. Have you ever seen such an uppercut as that? He brought it right up. And away went poor Mark Elliott. Although he got to his feet, the referee continued counting until he got to 10. Worth seeing again. Not from Elliott's point of view, but still. What a right uppercut that was. He put one in in the first round, but nowhere near as good as that. Well, there you are. There's a demonstration of what uh, Darren Dyer, only 19, can do with one punch. 